The Content Manager window allows game makers to administer in-game content. Here we are inside an empty project with Beamable installed. I'll open Unity's window and Beamable and open the Content Manager. In this project, I've already administered some content so we can see what it looks like. But typically, you would have the top menu with options such as Create, Validate, publish, and download. You'd have the content and content groups, and then you'd have the individual content items. Let's create a new item. Simply select the content type that we want, right click within the area, and create that item content type. At this level, you can give it a new name, And then by selecting the item, we can see in the inspector more values. Depending what content type, the values that are exposed here will vary. But for something that's meant to be an in-game item, something in a player's inventory, for example, we're able to set the icon that will be displayed. I'll use an existing one that I have here. And then you are able to set some additional permissions. And that's it. Now, at the bottom of the screen, we can see the status bar. It notes that we've created an item, but it's not yet synced up. So let's publish the item so it's both in the front end, where we see it now, and also on the back end to be shared with our end users and the other members of our development team. I'll use Publish. I can expand to see the details. Here we see the summary that none have been modified, one has been created, and zero has been deleted. That makes sense, so we'll go ahead and publish that. Now that it's been published, we see at the status that all data has synced with the server. That's it. Now we'd be ready to develop on top of that within the game.